2000. Stop me if you've heard this one before. A scientist works on a highly experimental project in a lab in his basement. He tells the prepubescent kids to stay out of the basement. Surprise, they don't. The kids find that their dad, uncle, whatever has been replaced by the experiment he's been working on. The person they thought was their dad, uncle, whatever has been a monster all along. And the real version has been locked away in a supply closet. Sound familiar? It should. In fact, I gave it away already. It is the exact plot of Goosebumps number two, Stay Out of the Basement, regurgitated as I Am Your Evil Twin, Supply Closet and all. I was originally going to destroy this book, but then I got to thinking, if I was a writer with a hit series for kids on my hands, contracted to produce a new 120 page book every eight weeks, I am bound to recycle old material at some point, right? I mean, Stay Out of the Basement came out in 1992 and Evil Twin was released six years later. That's like half of a Goosebumps reader's life right there. Of course, they're not gonna come at R.L. Stein and be like, Hey, uh, I remember back in 92, you did this same story. I was only six then, but I was very advanced for my age. No, the kids who read this book in 92 were 18 and 98 and likely moved on to Stephen King in high school like I did. They didn't give a shit, so R.L. Stein didn't give a shit. It's genius, really. Anyway, so we already know what's gonna happen, so I'll make this brief. The story follows a kid named Montgomery Adams and his cousin Nan. Montgomery, or Monty for short, is staying at his cousin's house while his mom is off adventuring in some jungle doing god knows what. She's really not important to the story. Monty's uncle Leo is the scientist doing the experimenting in the lab bit and soon finds that he is being blamed for things that he didn't do, namely because a person that looks exactly like him has been causing trouble. Yes, Monty has a legit doppelganger and there is one pretty cool scene when Monty is forced to clean up a classroom that his twin had destroyed. As he's working, he looks up and sees his reflection in the window, only the window is open. The doppelganger was looking in at him, mimicking his facial expressions to mess with him. This actually gave me chills. Yeah, I thought about going for the cheap pun there. The rest of the story plays out as I outlined above. Turns out Nan is actually Monty's for real twin, given up at birth by his mother because the biological father had just died and she couldn't afford two kids and gave Nan to her brother Leo, blah blah blah. Notice the attempt to throw us off the trail, but we're smarter than that, aren't we? This is the 60-something book and we can smell bullshit when we see it. So instead of being a plant, the Leo up to this point has been a clone. It could just be a coincidence that cloning was still a big news story when this book came out. Back in the late 90s, Dolly the Sheep was everywhere, being the first successful clone of a mammal. That's another quick point I wanna make about having a hit series on your hands. Not that I'm an expert or anything. News events provide excellent source material. Just ask the creators of South Park. Back to the story. So we know Leo is a clone, and the doppelganger that has been going around trying to ruin Monty's life? You guessed it, he's a clone as well. Actually, there are four clones of Monty. Turns out the Leo clone has sort of become obsessed with the kid. So what happens next? Well, we have some clones, and being a Goosebumps book, it was only inevitable that a switcheroo was bound to happen. So the original Monty is replaced by a clone, and he and his other copies are sent off to South America, presumably to a work camp or some test lab for the rest of their sad, miserable little lives. Real downer, this book. <laughs> On the bright side, maybe this is R.L. Stein's way of saying he's done with the stay out of basement type stories? One can only hope, though I am saying that with a slight bit of sarcasm. See you next time, viewer. For more reviews, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos go live. Thanks for watching.